Zeke the Antique Freak here. We're working on a VR21 Onan YD uh, circuit board, the voltage regulator board. And this particular model of board here, there's been upgrades over the years. These ones are 300 1540s. And, uh, and the test procedure uh, calls for very similar throughout those uh, those years and numbers. Some of the uh, layout on the board will change as, the, as they got uh, newer. Um, where do we start? Okay, if you can see the two little pots there, one says volt and the other says damping. So we're going to be using the volt and if you're having uh, generator problems it doesn't hurt to take a small screwdriver, memorize where, the, where they were positioned and uh, wipe the little contacts back and forth and put it back where they were and, and try it again because sometimes the uh, uh, insides get dirty. Uh, so basically we've duplicated the uh, Onan control board here. We've got a we've got the Onan reactor. There's the part number. We have an Onan transformer and there's the part number for it. I've got a variable voltage transformer. So with this here I can take house current and I can uh, I can change it to whatever voltage I like. It does have its own meter on it. I find it easier to read with digital, so I've got this little uh, Chinese job stuck on here. It'll, when it's uh, working, powering this light bulb, it'll draw about a half an amp. So here again is the uh, this just another board. So this is AC input. So this this is the sensing terminals here, terminals nine and ten, and that uh, there's residual magnetism in the armature which will provide a small amount of voltage uh, perhaps 20 volt or something and, uh, and that will uh, enable the board to excite itself and then it'll put power out on the field terminals here DC voltage and that will uh, that will build it up and then the card is supposed to regulate no, no matter what the load is it will uh, will regulate and try and keep it at the voltage that you set with uh, with the little pot guy there that fella uh, so then I've got another wire going to terminal 6 and that's for 60 Hertz and then uh, there's another wire goes to terminal 4 uh, where did you go right there terminal 4 there's jumpers and it's in between common on on this application the jumper is between common and I gotta get my glasses off to see this and terminal Terminal 1, I'll make sure I got that right for you, and over here uh, 1 and 2 are jumpered together. So I've got this set for 24 volt, and this will uh, simulate a uh, that the engine is running, the hertz is correct, I've got 60 hertz, which is uh, in this case it's line current, and the uh, the voltage coming up should excite the card that's in this uh, in this holder here. Now I did buy a 400, 400 watt, 100 ohm resistor that the uh, that the um, instructions recommended, but I'm using a, uh, a light bulb. I find it uh, tells you a whole lot more. You can't see what's going on otherwise. So I've uh, I've set the pot uh, this at 24. I'm going to turn it on, and we're supposed to get more than 12 volts. So on the on the DC voltmeter we've got. Uh, just over 13 and on the AC we've got 24 so that that part's working so then you go to uh, 120 so I'm going to adjust the uh, variable transformer you'll see the bulb come alive and I'm going to set that for 120 ish okay so we've got that set for 120 AC so this is uh, the board is going to think that it's uh, uh, everything's copacetic. The the load and everything is is coming along just ducky, and it doesn't have to do much. Now the instructions say to set the DC voltage, and um, this um, DC voltage I'm getting off of the field terminals, which is also powering the light the light bulb, and uh, so we've got that it's supposed to be between 50 and 70, and I've got it at 54, 55, so that's good. Now if I'm I'm going to adjust this down and it will sense that there's a load come on and that the uh, the voltage is dropping and then it will compensate with the board you can actually, I don't know if you'll hear it on here, but you can hear them buzz when they're working 
So I'm going to set the, uh, I'm going to pretend I'm putting a load on, I'm going to drop the voltage down. Now you'll see that the DC voltage is climbing, it's putting more current into the, uh, into the field circuit. And then the rotating uh, rectifiers in the back of the armature will, uh, will feed that into the field. So that's working. We've uh, it's it's come up now. It says that you should be able to achieve uh, 80 80 volts if you got it down to 117 or whatever. Now this particular card won't do that. Uh, we've got one card that does 90 volts, and I have another one that does this one. I think 70 something. There's 72, 73. That's uh, that's about the limit that this one will put out. I'll turn it down because uh, these resistors here get very warm fairly quickly. So now I'm going to go above. So now I'm up to uh, 130 volt. Now it's going to shut everything off because it's uh, thinking over voltage situation. And there it is. So it's uh, the DC volts is dropped right off to nothing because we have an over voltage. And uh, so now uh, with the oscilloscope I'll show you the uh, the waveforms. Now your oscilloscope will not look like this one because uh, it doesn't work perfectly but it's uh, good enough for my monkey and around. So I'm going to put it on the positive and on the negative of the DC and uh, right now we're at at, uh, at half a volt so we'll see if we got a waveform here. Yeah so there's there's a waveform uh, that's on the positive. Now the other one will be different. But not much. Now I'm going to increase the... Okay, I'm going to bring the voltage back down to 120. Try and get that so you can see it. So you can see the bulb uh, comes alive again. Because it's putting current out the DC. Okay, that's close to 120 there and I think now if we do another test here's the positive field you can see that the uh, waveform has changed again this is not a, a perfect <laughs> oscilloscope so the waveforms are, are a little chunky and chopped but at least with the with showing the waveforms you know that the thing is uh, is um, the oscillator circuit is working properly so I'll shut that off. I'll shut this off. And I'll shut this off. And I'll shut that off. So that's about it. Now if you go on to the forums for a smokestack, uh, there's a fellow by the name of McIntyre. Uh, I think it's called How To um, Quick Test for, uh, for an ONAN board. And it, it's a simplified thing of what i just done here. And if you don't have the transformer and if you don't have the uh, oscilloscope, uh, that, that test will tell you if the board is, uh, is trying to function. So I've got a book here. This is a proper book for this, right from Onan. And the part number, I'll try and get that for you, 900184. Now I don't know how much good I'll do you here if I f if I photograph some of this stuff, but there's uh, or film it. Here's uh, the different models that run on this board. Perhaps there's some subsequent after printing, different models that uh, would be in that list. Bit of a description. Uh, this will be done for you. It'll already be likely be wired for the for the output that you need. Uh, tells you a little bit about battery charging. Now here's a flow chart. No buildup of AC voltage. Now I'm going to pan down the page slowly. Uh, if it's of any use to you, maybe you can pause and uh, and read that. Here's the next page of uh, troubleshooting. I apologize if this doesn't come through that you can uh, can read it.
but we'll make an attempt here. Third page of troubleshooting. This, uh, I looked on the net and this uh, this 900184 book is available on the net. Now I don't know if it's for free, free download, or you're, they expect you to purchase it, but perhaps you can find a free one and then uh, be able to uh, have a look at it at your leisure on your own screen. A little better than this effort I'm making here. So now we're getting into the uh, nitty gritty of what we're doing on the table here. So here's the uh, the connections that uh, that they expect you to make. Little list there. Uh, here is the test procedure that I was doing, the 25 volts, and uh, and you can read through that. It'll be a slight modification of what I what I did there, but with the bulb, you can see that everything's uh, coming along nicely. Um, okay, here's the connections to the board and the voltage and dampening adjustment. Uh, there's information in here on flashing the field. That's a, that's a story for another day, so won't worry about that. Um, okay, now we're into test procedures. Testing the rotating rectifiers. Now that's what I've got going on outside on the generator because the uh, uh, I've got boards that work well enough, and it's not building full voltage. So I'm I'm suspecting there's a problem with the uh, rotating rectifiers on the back of the armature. Output bridge rectifiers, testing SCRs. Hopefully, there's some information you can use in here and that you can read it. And uh, another page here. Brushless exciter stator. I gotta get over reactor. So it gives you the uh, ohms and that kind of stuff on the reactor and the transformer. Uh, so I've tested that on uh, on this test board here. This may well be one of my more dull uh, videos that I've put out. Nice steady hand for you. Uh, wiring harness check. Resistance values for PTO alternators. So we're starting to deviate here. I'll uh, 
I'll quickly go through this. VR21 replacement. Well, by the time you got the board out to test it, you'll know how to do it. Just mark your wires. Be very careful that it goes back in the way it was. Now this, I'm starting to wonder if we're getting off into other stuff here. Uh, VR22. But if it helps you out, I'll put it in here. I'm trying to put the pages with one hand here. Then it goes into the uh, schematics of the board, which uh, doesn't affect us because uh, uh, here's some output wiring for different outputs. Troubleshooting procedures. So I would think after this here, uh, you've seen how to do a quick test on the on the bulb. That should about do it. So it should uh, give you more questions and answers. And uh, thank you for watching Zeke the Antique Freak. Over and out.